Good afternoon, my people. Thank you for coming back to another Tony Montana video. This is a translation. I just made a video in Spanish. So before people ask, hey, translate the video, what you what were you saying in Spanish? Here it is. First of all, first, first and foremost, please say hello to my little friend. This is Caritas over there. Uh, um, he's taking a chill pill. It's a cold um, day. It's freaking windy, and it makes it feel a lot colder. I thank God we were, uh, we were indoors and not out, and we are just chilling today. Now, this is going to probably be a two-part uh, video. Um, let's see how much I could put into this video and then the next. Um, we're going to be talking about step-by-step, -step, you know, choosing your uh, breeding stock or step-by-step -step by choosing your breeding dogs or, or dogs for breeding out of what you have or if you're getting into the dogs and or coming back into the dogs and you, you're looking for a, like a floor plan a floor plan is the plan so that way you can move forward uh with some sort of intelligence rather than going out of uh, and just grabbing dogs left and right without not not much thought and then expecting those dogs to continue to produce uh generation after generation dogs that you want or dogs that are to the standard all right, so um, uh, there was a guy, and I'm going to give him a shout-out here, even though he doesn't speak Spanish, English. I'll give him a little shout-out here in English. It's Mr. Dog Wild. Mr. Dog Wild, he gave me a couple of questions that he was like, hey, why don't you make a video and so I can put him in my um, my Facebook group. So I'm not sure why not. Uh, anything that I, could, that I could do to help uh, in a positive way, uh, new people into the dogs, people that are good... Uh, people that are looking to get into the dog for the good things, for the good, good reasons. You know, this pe breed needs good people to take care of them. This breed needs good people to um, become ambassadors. So I am, you know, even though I, I'm not inclined to uh, promote breeding of dogs, because a lot of this promotion uh, tends to be selling of dogs. And, and I, 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 I see breeding of dogs, dogs uh, in two ways. If you're breeding dogs, seriously and honestly breeding for yourself breeding for family and breeding for friends i can see that and i accept that and, and i and i appreciate that because you're you're uh, not just not just uh selling your dog probably you're selling dogs that you're going to see and be around for the rest of their lives and for with owners that you're going to uh see and um you know so you're always going to have some sort of connection to all the dogs. So the, I, 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 I definitely approve of that. I am one of the proponents of that type of breeding if you're going to do it. Because, again, you're not going to be doing that every six months. You're not going to be doing it because you're going to run out of family, run out of friends. <laughs> not because they're going to hate you, but because they already have dogs. So, you know, that's all. this has to be a very conscious and very serious matter on, on, um, when you do a breeding and you're not doing the breeding for selling. Uh, I'm keeping two, but I'm selling eight. No, that's really, you know, that's you're not selling for betterment. You're selling to uh, make some money and, and hope to you grab the, the right ones. But anyway, so um, before, uh, because if one of the first questions is how to choose a, a great stud. Um, and I'm like, hold on a second. First, before you do a, produce a great stud, you have to know what you're bringing to the table. You know, you could you you need a female, obviously. So if if you need a female, the female need it needs to uh it needs to come from two ways or three ways. He here is what. Obviously, the female you're choosing should be female that. Uh, and this is obviously every everyone has an opinion. Everyone has a way of doing things. So uh, my way of doing things, I, I'm a line breeder. I, I, even though I don't breed breed, but at least I keep dogs within the uh, family of dogs. And then if they were to uh, do do well as individual dogs for me, uh, I, it, uh, then I would consider them either to freeze, as if it's a male, freeze the dog. Uh, obviously, I'm talking about the dog himself, but I'm talking about semen. Freeze the semen of the dog for future use. And it could be that, that could be in 10 years, that could be in two years, whatever. But I would freeze and then um, I either, you know, like I said, my, my way is I, I do... Uh, like to home the grown dogs, the adult dogs, into right the right environment, but because I already know the dog per, dog's personality, I can seek out a, a person that's looking for a, the right uh, personality, that same personality, 
or that, that I they can deal with that personality. So I can I, I do try to do a good match for the the person and animal. But anyway, like I was going back to the topic. Um, before you, you choose a, a male, before you are looking for, if you're looking to breed, you're also going to be looking for uh, a good female. You can get this female, uh, let's say, three ways. Uh, if uh, the, the first, no, four ways, but it, the, four, the fourth one is you, you already have the female. You have the females already. But if you don't, you know, you come, you, you, you have to start with either you're choosing to own, buy a puppy, a female puppy. Now, if you're choosing to um, buy a female puppy, you are looking for uh, a, a specific pedigree that is uh, a brood level pedigree, meaning the the uh, the genetics that the the inbreeding or line breeding is tight enough that um, you can definitely uh, get some sort of consistency in in the puppies uh, that come out of that you know that female. Now you also can choose to buy a, an adult, young adult female. That probably, you know, because I don't uh, agree that those should be bred with before they're two years old. And uh, that would be like two or three uh, cycles, he, he cycles. But two years old, I think that's when they're, uh, most of them will be mature. But so if you're buying a female around two years old, there you're going to run into the pot potential problem that the female can't be bred or doesn't produce puppies. You won't know that until you try, 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 and you never get puppies. So that is an issue with, uh, and that is also an issue with buying a puppy, female puppy. That could also happen. It's not common, but it, it happens. So uh, the third option would be to buy a, a mature female that has been bred and has, has produced puppies. That way you already know that the female you're getting doesn't have a production problem. And you can obviously find out and, and hopefully buy a female that is a good mother as well, that doesn't uh, uh, neglect the puppy, that doesn't kill puppies. Because you as a young, new uh, owner of dogs, or you're trying to produce your own dogs for your family, for your friends, uh, you, you, know, you want to make sure that you're, you're starting off in the, on the right path. You're starting off with, now with dogs that may produce, reproduce those issues. You know, you don't want a female that may reproduce uh, her tendency to kill its uh, offspring or tendency to neglect offspring or, or not want to care for them. You don't want that. You you want to start things off with uh, the intent or eagerness to uh, to have dogs that are well rounded. And this also includes if you you know if you want if you're a person like me that likes to have the dogs in the house that they act like pets when it's time to act like pets. And, you know, obviously they can have that switch, switch off when they're outside, switch off when they're inside. Uh, and that starts with, you know, producing or, or choosing the right mate. And uh, obviously, since we started with the female, this is the part of the female that you can either uh, get the young female, a puppy, you might get it for cheaper, but you you know you don't know the personality you don't know uh, her production if there, she has a production issue if if she has uh, health issues because the issues start showing off uh, showing up uh, uh, physical around two years old and so you might you don't want to reproduce or you don't want to continue those issues to onto the next generation because you again we're t looking to start off on the right foot and that is making sure that each each one is a. Uh, uh, each, each of the parents is doing well for each other. Now, we are going to uh, I'll leave it here. And um, in the next one, I will be talking more about the male, about the, the actual choosing and all the different options that we have for uh, the male in, in producing. Again, I am a person that is a family breeding type of person. I believe in family breeding. I believe in you know, consistency. It comes from uh, family uh, breeding knowing the dogs that you're using uh, and that way you can identify the traits in the next generation positive or negative and that way you can choose to uh, either keep them or remove them from the gene pool anyway this is tony montana just giving you some content i hope you enjoy my content until next time